Hi, in this tutorial, I am going to discuss Beautiful Soup HTML page parsing. So, let's start with Python terminal. Now, we have to do two things. First, we have to import Beautiful Soup library, and another is importing URL lib. So let's start with import URL lib2 then from BS4 import beautiful soup now let's see we are going to pass HTML content and holding that content in this variable So a bit trouble here. The thing is that URL lib is removed and I have to replace this here with URL lib2. As you can see it is parse. Now I have to get this content in soup variable. Soup inside which I'm going to add the content okay as you can see it accepted content now let's print soup dot title now this title will fetch the title tag from the parsed HTML page which is google.com let's enter as you can see it is showing us Google now let's print soup title dot name which should print name of another subtitle past which is title now let's see if we can fetch dot a which will print out all the links so we have a link to Google's mm -hmm. official image to that let's see if we can print soup dot p should point us to the first paragraph which is basically terms and conditions para that you know. let's print the text content get underscore text as you can see it's showing me all the content behind the web page which will be like a lot cryptic to understand now let's go to soup dot find underscore all and give it option to find anchor you can see it's showing me all the links of the page so that is pretty much it. You can find more methods for beautiful soup. So what we did here is first we imported URL lib so that we can point to the specific URL. Then we have imported beautiful soup library and from that we are getting the PS4 class. 
using URL lib to URL open method to fetch google.com's content and storing it into the HTML content variable then using beautiful soup library to fetch in the content of the page then printing title title name then anchor tag as you can see here when I use soup dot a it will show me the first link but when I use find all and give anchor for that method I get all the links of the page so you know when to use which also when you ask for get text it will show all the past text of the page so I suggest you to try this on your own see where you go with the content and yes that's it i'll see you later in next tutorial till then have fun